I'm Phil Kluse, manager of the Dayton Habitat Restore, and I'm your host for this month's segment of the Habitat Home Show. Today we have an exciting show. We had David Malk, our director of family services, talking to Jack Waddell, uh, one of our instructors in our training classes for our partner families. Following that, we have Ashley Reeves with our volunteer spotlight section, talking to Caitlin and Caitlin from the Holiday Inn Fairborn who's partnered with us recently uh, in a program to help us uh, with our partner families and our uh, home dedications. Following that, we have a build site update and a restore update for you. Dave, everybody knows Habitat builds houses mm -hmm. and uh, we, we carry a, a zero interest mortgage for people, our uh, partner families, and that they do um, sweat equity work uh, to get their home. But there's another component that you'd like to talk about today, and that's the educational component. Sure. Thanks, Phil. Um, excited to be here again on the Habitat Home Show, and excited to have Jack with us, who uh, is one of our key instructors for one of the courses that we teach, and that's the money skills class, uh, the financial literacy class that we teach. One of the components of the Habitat for Humanity program, you know, when I'm talking to people, especially for the first time, I really talk to them about three different kind of layers of partnering that they have to do to be successful with Habitat for Humanity. The first, as you mentioned, is the sweat equity. The second is the savings. And then the third uh, component is the educational classes that we teach. And we have nine different classes that we teach. And as I mentioned, uh, Jack teaches one of the ones that's probably most important, and that is the money skills financial literacy class. And, and everybody, every partner family takes every class, all nine? Yes. Um, every, each partner family has to complete uh, all the classes in order to qualify for the opportunity to purchase a Habitat for Humanity house. Very good. And Jim, how did you get involved with Habitat? Uh, I've uh, been involved with Habitat over a number of years. I uh, first started out as a volunteer on some of the builds, and then I got contacted by the Habitat folks here in uh, Dayton that they had an opportunity in terms of money skills class uh, needing an instructor for that class, and I had some interest in doing that. and. Got tied up with them and got hooked up with them about uh, three, three and a half years ago and started teaching the class. Okay. And what, what are the general topics you discuss in your class? Uh, we have uh, different areas that we cover in the class. We go from banking to credit, how to use credit, um, talk about uh, debt, how, to, uh, the, how folks can get into debt, how folks get out of debt. And then one of the big topics that we talk about is a spending plan. Uh, some folks call it a budget. I prefer to call it a spending plan and teach uh, the individuals in the class how to create a plan and importantly how to follow the plan and how to make changes to the plan as necessary. Do you find that the partner families uh, develop as through the course and do they improve their skills? Yeah, absolutely. They, be, they uh, gain better awareness of all the topics that we cover in the class. Uh, whether it's banking, a lot of them understand the basics of banking, but they get a better understanding of the things that are involved in banking, some of the fees that they need to be aware of, credit, uh, the importance of credit, the importance of having a good credit score, how that affects you know, the different things that they do, um, and particularly with a spending plan. A lot of them, uh, individuals in the class, have never used a spending plan before, and this is a real eye-opener uh, awareness for them of uh, the advantages of using a spending plan for themselves. It's got to give you a great amount of satisfaction to watch them yeah, progress absolutely. through absolutely. the class. Okay. One of the things I've noticed <clears throat> in sitting in on the classes is early on, and it's, it's an eight session, uh, eight parts to the class, eight okay. different evenings that folks have to come in and, and meet with Jack and go over different aspects of money skills or financial literacy. Early on, I know one of the things, exercises that Jack does, and in fact, there's almost always homework, I think, for each yeah, session. Almost always. And um, one of them is you write down everything you spend in a, in a given week. And I've heard people come in the next week and say, boy, that was a real eye-opener. How many times I ate out, how many times I grabbed a cup of coffee, how much I spent on gas, some of those things that, again, I think the writing it down part is something that, um, like I said, is kind of a real eye-opener for folks to really track your spending and see how much yeah. you're, you're spending in certain areas that maybe as you add it up over the course of a week, you don't, you don't realize you spend that much. So a, a lot of people come in the following week and say, wow, I can't believe I spent 
a hundred bucks on fast food or a hundred bucks on this or that. You know, so it's it's pretty it's pretty neat the way Jack breaks it down and the class breaks it down uh, to open people's eyes to where their money is really going mm -hmm. in a given week, month, and year. Yeah, with the spending plan, what we try to do is make sure that at the beginning of a month, that they're identifying uh, every dollar that they're going to spend for the month. Uh, uh, understanding what their income is for the month, understanding each individual item that they're going to spend. Now, some of that includes just some spending money, uh, some pocket money that they might have, but I really encourage them to identify every dollar that they have coming in and where it's going to be put, including their savings, and that's an important element is they, their savings they're putting away for a down payment on the house or saving for other things as well. Yeah, it's one thing I failed to mention. We require a down payment from our partner families, and you help them structure a goal to get to their down payment? Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. Okay. That's one of the things that we cover in the spending plan that's very important, that they're identifying that at the beginning of much of the month, how much they need to put away for savings, uh, be it for their down payment or for something else that they're interested in buying. Sort of like a financial diet. Yeah, absolutely. Writing down everything you eat, writing <laughs> yes. down everything you spend. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Very good. Yeah. And it's just, uh, as Dave was saying, it's just an awareness thing. It's, uh, it's amazing to see that once they start keeping track of writing down the things that they are spending and what they're spending it for, is uh, they just by writing it down or keeping track of it, they are able to get better control over how they're, they're spending their money. Right. And ultimately, we think you know that's going to be make them more successful as homeowners. In order to be a successful homeowner and pay your monthly mortgage, you know, as as you know, Phil, and as, as a lot of people know, we have a zero interest mortgage, which makes it more affordable. But at the end of the day, it still is a mortgage, and it is something that you have to pay each and every month. So by having a spending plan, by budgeting, uh, we think that we're going to set people up for. Um, stronger success when they do ultimately purchase the house from Habitat for Humanity and become homeowners. So um, our plan deals with not just you know getting somebody prepared to to buy a house but making them successful uh, in all aspects of their life and that's why you know we not only have financial literacy but we have a variety of classes that cover um, a lot of different or di different topics. Um, we have uh, community resources, community involvement, how to be a good neighbor, we offer a four-part nutrition class that teaches people how to um, budget better when they're going to the grocery store and also how to uh, cook healthier, uh, more well-balanced meals for uh, themselves and their family. Uh, we do a, a course on insurance. Uh, we do a great course on home maintenance that recently has been expanded to three sessions. Uh, we, we actually just partnered with some, uh, some folks in the community to, buy, to build a uh, home maintenance module uh, it's that the acronym we use for it is HOME, it's hands-on maintenance experience, and people can come in and, um, you know, work on plumbing, uh, work on, with their furnace, work on different siding, the outside of a house, um, and you'll see some pictures up on the screen um, uh, of the module, um, and, and, and we think that gives them a little more confidence when they're dealing with a small uh, maintenance issue at, in their home. Maybe they don't have to call somebody and, 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 and take on a big bill, they can fix something themselves. Again, just giving them a little more confidence as they become homeowners and, and ultimately being able to uh, hopefully maybe budget better and, and save a little bit of money. So really trying to create a, a well-rounded person that's going to be successful when they move into the home. Uh, their success equals success for Habitat because as they pay their monthly mortgage, uh, that gives us dollars to then build more homes for more people and help, help more families become Habitat homeowners and give them the uh, ability to live in a safe, affordable housing. And ultimately that affects their children. Uh, we have Habitat homeowner children uh, going to college and uh, recently we had uh, a football player on <coughs> CBS who uh, uh, talked about living in a Habitat home and volunteering with Habitat and how important that was to his success. So we're yeah, we generational certainly, change. Certainly believe that um, giving somebody a safe, stable living environment um, is going to allow them to be more successful as as they uh, get older. Um, having somebody in the same school district uh, for years and years, having the same mentors around them, the same teachers, coaches, uh, instructors, um, the same uh, circle around them makes people more successful. And if you can 
give um, those attributes to children at a younger at a young age. Um, it allows them to have that comfort zone and, and to thrive in other areas and mm -hmm. become successful, whether it be sports or music or school or, or what have you, and, um, um, and, and hopefully be successful students and, and go on to, uh, to great futures. And speaking of stability, we have a 30-year relationship with these homeowners as we carry the mortgage. So uh, not only do we help them get started in their homeownership process, um, we with them, we're with them for 30 years. Absolutely. Well, David, Jack, I appreciate you coming on the show today and joining us. And uh, in our next segment, we'll have Ashley Reeves. We'll be talking to our volunteers from the Holiday Inn at Fairborn. Hello, and welcome to the January edition of our Volunteer Spotlight. I'm Ashley Reeves, Volunteer Coordinator, and I am so lucky today to have uh, two wonderful ladies here with me. I have Caitlin Garber, um, the Business Transient Manager for Holiday in Dayton Fairborn, and Caitlin Farmer, the Corporate uh, Catering Manager for Holiday in Dayton Fairborn. So thank you so much, ladies, for coming on the Habitat Home Show today. We're so happy to have you here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, so I want to kind of jump right in because I'm excited to talk to you guys. We've we've been working with you guys over the last couple of months, and I know that Kim Schaff, our donor relations specialist, and I have kind of formed a really good relationship with you guys. So we want to let our viewers know what that's all about. Um, so tell me first, how did Holiday Inn Dayton Fairborn become involved with Habitat? Or if you guys had volunteered with us before, I'm not sure. But really. actually, neither of us had volunteered before. Uh, I had met Kim at a chamber event. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I met Kim at a chamber event um, a few months ago, and then she came out and did a tour of a, our hotel, and then we came out to Habitat and did a tour, and then from there we were really hooked. We started hearing um, the family stories, and we really wanted to get involved. Yeah, I know we had a really good brainstorming session after the tour about ways that you guys could help us, so I know yeah. that, that was that was really awesome. So, um, I, so that's how you guys got started, you did a tour, and then you were like, mm -hmm. so we should definitely do more tours, because that seems yeah. the only way we can hook people. Well, I think I can speak for both of us. We had no idea what went into Habitat, mm -hmm. all the classes, and that really stuck out to us. So I think mm -hmm. that's what made us decide, yeah. let's partner. Yeah. So um, what really motivated you guys? Were you guys at work and, you know, talking to other employees, and you were looking for a way to partner with a nonprofit, or, or what really made you guys decide to to come to Habitat. I know you met Kim, mm -hmm. but what really made that, you know, what made the mark that you guys decided that you were definitely going to proceed and work with us? I think Caitlin had always wanted to get involved with the Habitat, and then we, I think from the time that we did the tour on, we were just like, you know what, let's do it. Let's really go for it. Let's make an effort to, to get involved. And I know, I mean, we can talk about so many different ways, and we are. We're going to talk about every way that you guys partner with us because over the last, like, six months, you guys have done so much to work with us. So I definitely want our viewers to know everything that you guys are doing. So um, let's start with your partnership and how you're helping our, our partner families and Habitat homeowners. What are you guys doing with the vacuum cleaners? So we started doing Jean Friday where all of our staff pays $5 to wear jeans. And then we're taking that money and b purchasing vacuums for all families for Habitat. Um, and we just um, got word from our general manager that he wants to proceed with that for next year. Nice. So we're super excited. Oh, um, and I think it allows our staff to feel like they are doing something really good with their money, but they're also enjoying wearing jeans on Friday. Absolutely. So that's how, that was our first partnership. And then we also do the breakfast with Santa every Christmas and one dollar of every ticket sales goes towards Habitat as well and then we also if you book a holiday party with us then five percent of that gets donated back to Habitat and I think this year it was um, four thousand one hundred eighty dollars yes. that we'll be donating That's so, so super excited yes and I know um, we'll come back to another way you guys partner with us which is volunteering with us which is super important right. um, but let's talk about your first dedication you guys came to your first dedication this past Friday um, and you guys were able to present uh, our Habitat homeowner with her vacuum cleaner. So how was that? Was that exciting? It was emotional. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was really <laughs> emotional. We didn't expect to tear up, but um, I think just seeing how happy the, the family was mm -hmm. and um, her and her daughter, and they've made this huge accomplishment, and we were so happy to be a part of it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's crazy. I know my first one, I was like, oh, gosh, I didn't realize just how emotional it was. They're so grateful. They're so excited. Right. And then, you know, we, we, are, we work with so many different organizations like Project Read and Secret mm -hmm. Smiles to provide in-kind gifts to them as, as new Habitat homeowners. But now to be able to partner with you guys and, and provide them with a vacuum cleaner, because I know in our brainstorming session, you guys asked, 
what's one thing that they don't get or they might not have? And it's a vacuum cleaner. So right. it's not something they think of. Um, you know, new home, new vacuum cleaner, double bonus. So we, re I mean, that's really exciting. And then you guys are coming to another dedication this Friday. We are. Yes. Yep. Oh, it's going to be mm -hmm. so exciting. <laughs> uh, but let's go back to a different, another way that you partner with us. So you guys also volunteer with us, which we is do. exciting. So you guys um, started volunteering with us at our Emerson Avenue build site in Fairborn. Correct. And I know you guys have done two different days so far. So, but one day was like a women's build. You guys brought out a group of ladies and Keith loved working with you guys. He said you guys were such hard workers. So tell me about that experience because I know you guys, you worked really hard that day. Yeah, we had a blast that yeah, day. We, we um, it was seven women, it was our whole sales team. Um, so we went out and we didn't expect to get so much accomplished. Mm -hmm. We got nine or 10 wall panels put up, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, I think from the beginning, Keith had to teach us how to use a hammer, <laughs> <laughs> hammer and a nail, and we didn't expect for um, him to let us use the power tools, but ah, he did. Yes. So um, we, we feel pretty confident in that now, and um, yeah. I think by the end of the day, we could hit our hit our nail in with just a few. I think we learned that. Yeah, yeah, I, know. yeah. I mean, that's what Keith's there for, right. to really show you guys like what to do and how to do it and all that good stuff. I also know that you guys moved all the interior walls inside from outside, right? You we did. Like, those. That was crazy, and we were definitely feeling it the I next day, I think, sore. but yeah. Yeah, we I got, know we have a really fun picture of you guys in front of all the wall panels that you moved, like, yeah. strong women, we did this. Yeah. <laughs> Keith was really impressed. He was like, no, they moved all of these wall panels in here by yeah. themselves. We got a lot accomplished, but I also think we took like 100 selfies that day. I think we got <laughs> the award we for selfies. the most selfies. I, I yeah. think Keith would give you guys that award. He's like, yeah. they're taking so many pictures, what are you out here taking pictures <laughs> of them? I'm like, no, they're having fun. And I, Caitlin, Farmer, you were like, we haven't gotten enough done. Um, I didn't yeah. feel accomplished. I know, right? Everyone was like, Caitlin's been mm -hmm. on us all day. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's exciting. And then I know another group came out, and I had, you know, survey results back mm -hmm. from them that they had a really good build site day as well. So They did. Yes. We've got a lot of good feedback from them. And I think um, we have another group who wants to go out and do a build awesome. again. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And one of the really great things about you guys is that you guys come out during the week. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest time for us to find volunteers is during the week, Tuesday through Friday. And you guys, you know, took time out of your work schedule and, and came out and volunteered with us. So mm -hmm. I think that that's amazing. And I, every way that you guys partner with us has been so astounding. And you guys have always been there for us. And then you decided to come on our Habitat Home Show. Yeah. Yes. Which is just another <laughs> so I was like, yes. So, um, but we really want to thank you guys for everything you've done. You guys are an amazing partnership, and I'm so excited we get to work with you through 2018, too. Yeah. Yes. That's we're really, exciting. we're so excited. I always give everybody an update. Mm -hmm. Just about every yeah. day of the week. Every People day the might week. be tired yeah. of hearing about it, but I get really excited. No, <laughs> that's it. exciting. And I know the kind of the last way you guys partnered with us, which um, will be a continuation, is you guys have, have donated some items to our restore as well. Oh, yes. Yes. You guys donated some chairs, and then in the future, there's going to be some additional donations. Correct. Yes. Yep. Great. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys remodel your hotel? We're going to get some donations. Yeah, we're yes. going to pass everything along to you. It's <laughs> awesome. So, well, I want to thank you guys for coming on and being my volunteer spotlight for the month. You guys are amazing, and I look forward to working with you guys here on out. So thank you so Thanks much. Too. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley, for that volunteer spotlight update. Uh, we really appreciate the folks at Holiday Inn and all they've done for us. As far as the build site update, 650 Senate, there's not much to update. It's done. We, you can see from the pictures, the carpet's in. Uh, the plastic drop cloth is down over the carpet, uh, and we're ready for a dedication this Friday. So uh, congratulations to the Zamatuma family, who will be uh, taking possession of their new home this week. And we wish them all the luck in the world and uh, all the happiness in the world in their new home. And for a ReStore update, uh, lots happened to the ReStore. We've got ourselves a new truck. Uh, we never thought we would get a new truck, but through the generosity of the Ohio EPA and Dayton Power and Light and their generous grants, uh, we were able to go out and purchase a brand new truck. Uh, you'll see it in the picture there. It's, uh, it's been wrapped and uh, there's a rolling billboard for uh, the ReStore. In addition, the back of the truck has acknowledgements for the Ohio uh, Environmental Protection Agency and Dayton Power and Light, thanking them for their generous gift, which enabled us to have this new truck. Uh, we've, uh, we've had a lot of trucks in our fleet over the years, and usually they're, they're hand-me-downs, and we're excited to have a, uh, a new truck uh, to better serve our customers with pickups. And if you have a pickup, uh, dial 222-2296 and talk to Chrissy Day.
Chrissy Day can schedule your pickup uh, during your initial phone call, which is an improvement uh, from the way we did it in the past. She's got a computerized system and she can plug your uh, date and time into a schedule and make sure that we can pick up your, your donation. As you can see from the pictures, we currently have a large selection of furniture. Most of it is from Morris Furniture in Ashley. As always, we have a large selection of appliances and cabinetry for your kitchen and bath. We also have several retail clothing racks. Uh, if you have a boutique, a boutique or a store and you need some racking, uh, this is commercial quality racks that we have in the store available for you. We're open uh, Tuesday through Friday, 9 to 5, and Saturday, 9 to 3. We're located at 115 West Riverview Avenue. And look forward to seeing you. I'm Phil Close, and thank you for allowing me to be your host. Mm -hmm.